Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at youtube.com slash show. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day and thank you and welcome for being here on the Valder BB Show. I'm going to go on to my next guest. I've got Dr. Nick Skolnick. He's here to talk about chronic kidney disease. Dr. Skolnick, welcome to the Valder BB Show. Valder, it is such a privilege to be here with you. Well, thank you so very much, and thank you for the little pep talk before we went on air, so I'm ready to go now. Let's talk about chronic kidney disease, because I found out there's some startling statistics of people who deal with this. That, that, that's right, and it is startling. You are correct. Would you believe that one in seven people in the United States actually have chronic kidney disease, but what might be even more startling is that 90% of them don't know they have it? I can believe that because we put it out there last week. We try to put it out before the guests come. And I, I read so many stories on, on uh, social media. You know, I was doing well and I just got sick one day, had to had the ambulance come and take me to the hospital. And I was diagnosed with this disease. I mean, just they say they weren't sick at all. You know, that, that's one of the important things to know about chronic kidney disease, that it's silent. And so people don't have symptoms until it progresses to a large degree of severity. But what's important to realize is that typically it progresses slowly over time. So there's the opportunity for us, if we can diagnose it early, to be able to really slow that progression so that we don't end up in the position of what some of the people wrote about to you on social media of ending up in an ambulance with something terrible that could have been prevented. So your, your point is really an excellent one. Who's at risk for CDK, CKD? Who is at risk? Yeah, there, there are a number of groups of people that are at risk. Now, one thing uh, is age. Now, age puts you at risk for a lot of things, right? And one of them is CKD. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so that it turns out that while one in seven people who are younger, if we take everyone, have CKD. If we look at people over 65, 40% of people over 65 have CKD. Other things that put you at risk include diabetes, high blood pressure, obesity, things that are pretty common for, for many of us. So those are groups that particularly want to make sure to talk to their doctor about di early diagnosis. Okay, what is chronic kidney disease? Could you just give us a little bit of an understanding for us lay people? What a great question, because we take our kidneys for granted, and they work all day long, every, every day, a little bit like you and I, Valder, that they are spending their time working hard. What the kidneys do is they filter toxins from the blood, and it, when they begin to fail, and that's in the end stage of chronic kidney disease, that's when you need dialysis to filter those toxins for you. But again, the key here is that while there hasn't for years been any new treatments available, now we have new treatments available that make it that much more important to diagnose early. So dialysis is cleaning up your blood then, and I never knew that, so please forgive me. Yeah, that, that's what it is. But again, I don't want to emphasize dialysis today. What I want to emphasize today is how to avoid dialysis using new treatment that, that is available that was just approved by the FDA. I mean, it's pretty amazing. We went for 20 years without any new treatments for chronic kidney disease, as we've talked about, a disease that's incredibly important. Just two weeks ago, due to years of research by AstraZeneca, uh, a new medicine, Farziga, was approved by the FDA to slow progression of chronic kidney disease. That's exciting, and, you know, I know, to people who are suffering. Yeah, and, and it's important. That's why, uh, Valger, I, I decided to partner with AstraZeneca in order to get the word out about chronic kidney disease. Now, we know that no 
medicine is right for everyone. And that's why it's really important for people to talk to their doctor, to say, do I have chronic kidney disease? Because right when medical care is done best, it's a partnership between us as the doctor and the patient we take care of. So if you're, if you're an individual seeing your doctor, ask about CKD. And if you turn out to have CKD, ask about the new treatment that's available. Dr. Skolnick, this is exciting. And this is exciting when there's an answer for people. And I saw so many people on social media who have questions. Where do they go online? Sure. The easiest place to go online is farziga.com. And there's tons of information, both about chronic kidney disease in general and about Farziga. It has been such a pleasure talking to you. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.